Well, congratulations on this movie. I had so much fun watching it. It's just so visually beautiful. Wow, thank you. Now, I love Christian. He's so kind, he's so intelligent, but he has trouble expressing himself, which I think we can all relate to, especially when dealing with people we love. So talk about what drew you to this character. Yeah, I think it's exactly what you just said. I, I found, I, I connected to Christian out of all the characters. I was like, most of the time, I don't know what to say. I don't have the words to express myself. You know, that's why we look to movies to quote, or we look to books to quote, or, we, you know, we, we honestly, most of the time, we watch TV shows and we just recreate those moments in movies. And so I think I looked at Christian, and he was looking for guidance from someone that he, you know, wanted to be a friend and wanted to be a part of a community. And um, I, I just found inspiration in him just being trusting. And, and loving people and wanting to be his authentic self. Um, and that something about that innocence was something I wanted to go back to. Yeah, I love that. And Christian genuinely loves Roxanne, but he's aware that their love is sort of rooted in deceit. So talk about what we can learn from their relationship and the way that we approach our own friendships and our own romantic relationships. Yeah, I think ultimately um, it's so easy to get into the trap of believing that we have to become something more than what we already have, you know, in order to impress, in order to to get someone to love us. But ultimately, what are you getting them to love? A version of yourself that you've created, not your authentic self. And and and, and that that's not why people connect and have a long lasting relationship. So hopefully, it's just getting out of your own way and removing these these um these masks that we have to put up. Um, which is so interesting when Joe kind of actually puts people in the Cyrano mask throughout the movie. And so we all kind of feel ugly. We all kind of feel like we're 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 not um, worthy of love. And once you get that out of your way, then you can kind of actually receive it. Well, in this message of self-acceptance and sort of looking at the our propensity to look at the outward appearance instead of our hearts, we see this a lot, this message for women, but this movie is really targeting men with this message. So talk about the importance of also including men when we talk about self-acceptance. Yeah, I think I think um I think it's interesting because a lot of guys think they need to put on the extra bravado in order to be, you know, <laughs> to 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 be able to be a, a man enough to get the girl. And um, ultimately, that, that, that bravado is some type of insecurity in a lot of ways, you know? You're not actually putting your heart forward. And that's one of the things I also love about Christian is I think he kind of comes in with his heart. He's like, I love you. <laughs> He's like, that's all I got. It's just my, it's my passion, my authenticity, and I hope that you receive it. And, and I think the words or I think, you know, in some ways, Cyrano's letters is another version of his bravado and in his own way of trying to come in with this extra, ah, but with poetry to, to, to show that he's, you know, he's better than or special, or special enough for. Um, but yeah, it's just, once again, just being yourself. Like everyone's gonna, every, people will take it or leave it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So this movie comes at the tail end of a year that has been really hard for people. There's been a lot of depression, anxiety, especially in young people. So this movie is sort of a light. It's so visually appealing. What do you hope viewers take away from it? Well, I hope to have a good time. I think what's what was so nice for me during the pandemic was to get this job and to go and escape into the magical world of of Cyrano and and have music to sing and dance numbers and beautiful colors and lighting and, and you know the dresses and, and you know all of it. The it's just it was so much fun. Letters flying everywhere. You know, life can be very magical. Love is very magical when you're in that moment. And when we allow ourselves to be in the moment and connect with those we care about and love, everything feels like a fantasy. So hopefully they can escape with this on this journey. Yes. And I just want to ask you, what was your favorite scene in the movie? Uh, <laughs> I think it was the scene where we're um, at the poetry salon when I, I go up to, to Roxanne and I want to tell her that I love her. <laughs> I just thought it was fun to kind of sit there in that, you know, that, that really high tower and um, just talk about, yeah, I don't know, it was just a, it was a funny scene to me. It was one of my, my favorite scenes in the movie, so yeah.